Yo, what is up? This is my YouTube page. We know that, Mike Rap. Duh. Anyway, subscribe, rate, review, ask a question, give a request, okay? Uh, uh, believe a comment, ask a question, subscribe, rate, and review. Welcome to my YouTube page. Let me know what you think of this. Um, a sick documentary on Netflix. If you want to watch something over the holidays that ain't going to make you feel good, if you're feeling lonely, you're feeling down, uh, and, and you're feeling like, uh, 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 you know, not positive, there's a documentary on Netflix called Do, Don't Do Answer the Phone. I was going to say Do Not Answer the Phone. It's called Don't Answer the Phone. This has been suggested by OG Paul Wall and a few other I Am Rap Poor Stereo podcast listeners. I, I've gotten uh, about, I'd say about 10 DMs about this. Don't Answer the Phone. I believe it's three parts. Three parts on Netflix is a sick documentary that will give you the creeps that'll make you feel disgusting. But all also this this documentary, the thing about it that's fascinating is that it makes you realize that under the right circumstances, people will do anything another person tells them to do. This is a thing that you could really take away from this documentary. The documentary is about a sick f who would call up, what are they called? Chain restaurants, McDonald's, Taco Bell's, Burger King, Wendy's. You're like, where's this going? He'd call up and ask to speak to the manager. And he would say he was a cop. The sick f would say he's a cop. And then he would tell the manager of the restaurant, albeit a woman or a guy, go say, someone has stolen money in your restaurant and we need to find out who it is. This is on the phone. This is just on the phone. I'm a cop. I'm calling about somebody, literally talking about one time, one case in particular, somebody stole $50 from a customer, 50 bucks. This is the late 90s into the early 2000s. And it was allegedly stolen by one of your younger employees and the description would usually be she's young she's got literally she's got blonde hair and a cutish figure and people go okay okay sir and he's like oh, i'm from the, the local police department because he was calling all over the country it's happened dozens not one dozens of times and then the manager of the taco bell the burger king the mcdonald's would call in one of the female employees, young, was always a female employee, and they would sit down, and they have their surveillance footage. Most of the time, it's not with the sound. And they would talk to them. And the cop would be on the phone saying, tell her this, tell her that, tell her this, tell her that. And eventually, the cop would say, tell her we need to have her take her clothes off. We need to check her clothes. So the woman would wind up taking off her shirt, taking off her pants. And the manager would sit there and tell an 18-year-old employee, 19-year-old employee to eventually get butt naked. And the cop, the sick, fake cop on the other end of the line, I don't want to give anything away, would be somehow getting off on this. And to the point where they would, they, they would say, one time he had one of the people, one of the employees, one of the young girls, Give not the cop, not the person on the phone. The manager would would wind up had them giving him dome oral sex. Uh, another time he had him doing jumping jacks to make him break a sweat because if they stole money and they stole money and put it up their ass, they would sweat green. Literally, he'd be like, check to see if her sweat is green. And and like I said, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. It's going on and on and on. This is pre-cell phones, and it's so skeevy to watch the descriptions because some of the people that it happened to, they're talking about it. They got the cop who eventually cracked the case. They have the, the victims talking over and over and over again, and the thing that's, it, it's so disgusting and it's so uncomfortable, but the thing that's crazy about it is that people, like I said, under the right circumstances, will do anything. If you catch them and you tell them 
the right things in the right way, you can do a lot of sick things to people because people, a lot of times, like one of the girls that it happens, she goes, you know, I was just trying to do the right thing. I was trying not to get in trouble. Anyway, if you want a not happy holiday, sick fucking documentary to watch, don't answer the phone on Netflix is that film. Anyway, done. Came, saw, disrupted. Came, saw, disrupted. I am wishing everybody the happiest, the healthiest, and the safest holiday season. All right? What's up? Thank uh, you for watching. Leave a question. Leave a comment. Leave a criticism. I watch. I read them all. Have a fantastic, fully, fully disruptive holiday season. Stay safe. Stay sane and Happy New Year.